Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing as a Lucid campaign in RTR Imperium Sorectum version 0.5. And uh, yeah, we're not building anywhere anymore, unfortunately, and also it looks like roads can upgrade, which is fantastic. I don't think we got a notification about that last time, but we also had that tasty little battle over here, didn't we? Very tasty with the Achaean League, where we fully, absolutely ruined them, I've got to say. Although our army now is quite damaged. Both of our armies, in fact, are quite damaged. And like I say, we're not going to take this on. Because I don't think we'd win this within the time uh, time limit. Definitely not. <laughs> They've got some very good troops. So very likely they will uh, jump out of the city at some point. Um, so let's, uh, let's go across to the far east over here. And uh, let's have a look. We've got these guys moving. But I think we are at the end turn. So let's click that end turn. And let's see what happens. I may have to, in fact, turn down the volume slightly on that music. Because it looks like it's a little loud right now. we got a lot of our troops moving. It looks like they've the, the rebels have moved out of the city again. Ah, we've got another guy there. We found the final one on that side. So now we need to go up through the mountains to have a look at the mountain uh, settlements over there. Because we might send that second army that way. In fact... We can either send them that way or we can send them east into India. And let's be honest, there's going to be a lot more money in India, isn't there, than over there. I'm still having problems with the music cutting off a lot, um, which is quite annoying. And of course, just a bit annoying for you guys as well. But while we're here, I'm just going to turn down my volume slightly on my end. So yeah, back down to its usual level. Oh, uh, we've got a suitable husband. Again, 49. No thanks. I'd rather honestly have people come of age like kids be born than have loads of adoptions so we might keep on uh, getting rid of those adoptions as well and of course again we've lost about 80,000 from the previous turn but now uh, roads can get upgraded it's gone it's on zero percent now it's just tipped over that level we got a lot of people that have uh, died so Barossos the cold and that's actually not a very good sign because that's gone instantly down and quite Sad, so let's put in that shrine to Taiki there. At Stakra, we've got our Silasaulos, the cold hearted, and now it has no governor. Uh, do we have two governors? We do have two governors in here, so let's put the old one in there, in there for now. But, like I say, I think it's going to be fine. Uh, and then over here in Kizikos, we lost a governor as well. But we did get Zoilos come of age. And uh, let's have a look at you, my friend. I mean, you, 38, you're quite good. Zoilos, let's have a look. He's testy, uh, firm, personal, good ambusher, judgmental, fond of ribald rhymes, <laughs> and he's hasty. So, do we have a academy in this place? No, let's look for somewhere that we've got an academy, because I think Zoilos, my friend, you've got a cool name. Let's make you lead the next army that'll be assembling in Pergamon. Now, what are we building in Pergamon? Because I'm sure... Is that as... Oh, we can't get... So we can't get full gold gold on all of these guys. We can get gold gold on a lot of other people. But not on all of them. Uh, which is fine. We also have managed... Oh, apparently we can retrain all of these guys. But they're already on gold silver. Let's have a look. Yeah, there still will be gold silver. So I don't know why it would want us to retrain them. But anyway, while we're here, we've got... So we've got... Uh, seven of the Agira Speeders, plus Zoilos, which is eight, plus four, which is 12, plus four, which is 16. So we've only got room for four more. Now, ideally, I would like some elephants in there as well. So let's go for the elephant, and then let's also then just go for the Hetairoi. So three, I think three Hetairoi plus the general, of course, will be fine. In fact, we can spread that out slightly better. So that's two turns. Then over here, let's go... Can we get Hetairoi? Sure we can. Yeah, let's go two, and then let's make this one three turns. Uh, that should be fine. Um, so unfortunate that a lot of people have died, but it's not a problem at all. Got a few faction announcements. Lots of people probably getting stuff from the places that we, uh, we are recruiting from. So we've got the Cataphract army on the way still as well. Pergamon did that, and then you've done that. Fantastic. We'll go through our construction in a bit. So let's have a look at what we can do over in Greece. The Antigonids are still a little bit scary. I think that has really 
destroyed the Achaeans. Honestly, six kills. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let's take that. We also take Olympia, which is plus four bonus to population loyalty. So some of these settlements up here that were a bit upset before, like, I mean, these aren't even upset, but like, say, Alexandria Ariana, they should now be a lot happier, which is great for us. Uh, we are sieging down Zaranka over here, and they don't have much, do they? Oh, no, don't abandon the siege. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to go for this battle. It'll be a tight little battle, uh, and it won't be it won't be a bad one because it'll be pretty tightly matched. So, how is the happiness over here? Suddenly gone up to 100% straight away. So, can we... Let's have a look. Let's see if we can leave. We need to put this down to low as well, of course. So, low. Let's uh, rebuild as well. Oh, there's no Achaean... What shrines do they have? There's no Achaean recruitment here, so they weren't even recruiting anything from this region. Poor them. Let's uh, rebuild everything. Let's also build that shrine to Hera. And let's get... Say three. Will three be able to leave? These are big garrisons over here right now. Imagine if someone sieged us down and we just try and fight them back with Akontistai <laughs> the whole time. I mean, it could happen. Uh, the Akontistai boyos. Let's get you in there. Let's see whether this will make them happy. Hopefully it does. Oh, it does plenty happy. So we can just keep chaining through uh, the Achaeans. And I believe that is their last settlement. Oh, maybe they go all the way around there. But once we get around there, it's very likely that the Antigonids... It's going to be time for the Antigonids to die, really. Uh, and we'll have to attack them. And whoever we have to go through to get through to the rest of the Antigonids, I'm not bothered because we are going to try and take all of Greece. That includes killing everyone in Greece apart from us. We will be the last remaining Greek boyos apart from, like, the Bosporans in the north. All that sort of thing. So we've got this little, uh, this little scope of an attack over here. And, uh... Actually, this looks like a quite a nicely matched battle. We could get some mercenaries, but there, we could get some Silesian pirates. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. So we've got to remember we've got that battle to do. So let's uh, let's remember that, and then let's see where the rest of our guys are and start moving everyone, and then we'll do the battle. So we also have this at uh, Gymnias in the middle here. Let's also resolve that. Six hundred and twenty-four. Oh well, I mean this army is so just ragged and, and mercenary based anyway. And I'm kind of thinking we're not going to send this army ever back for retraining. So I'm thinking let's just merge all of those. Um, and yeah, but they are pretty ragged as well. And merge you. And let's see whether we can leave like behind maybe the Galatian skirmishes. 65%. That's not too bad, you know. I'm kind of willing to risk that. It is still Anatolian, so they're not going to be too happy for a, for a long time. They also... What is their native culture? Armenian. And they've got a Colony 3 Anatolian, which doesn't help us because... Yeah, we're not going to be able to overcome that at any point. Um, now, roads should actually connect to these lands, which will be great. But for now, we definitely need the Shrine to Hera first before anything else. Uh, and then, where do we go from here? Do we go down to that one, maybe? That might be the option. Uh, I think this, yeah, these two there, and then in terms of the Armenians, of course they've got this one, which we need to take. Or do we go up north? Well, I think we leave you to go and take out that one there. So, also, do we have mercenaries available? Because, yeah, we need to get... Oh, look at these! <laughs> Albanian cataphracts, yes, please. Armenian horse archers, yes, please. And Armenian cavalry, yes, please. Iberian Noble Cavalry. Yes, please. And uh, we've got Caucasian Slingers, which... Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe no thanks on, on those boys. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Let's also maybe build a... Invalid position for a watchtower, really. Uh, how about, like, right in front of the city? Come on. You can move, my friend. Nope. Doesn't want to put watchtowers out here. I fully understand that, though. That's fine. Uh, now we're in a new region. Let's have a look to see whether there's any new mercenary pool. There isn't. And we will take the hillmen, actually, because they they're not good, but they're not going to do terribly either. So that's fine. 
Uh, Termesos has now expanded. Good. Fantastic. Only a minor city right now. Uh, and also, Aesis the Handsome got an Easterner turncoat. Very nice. That's something very good for them. Where were you going, Spy? You're going all the way into Greece. So, did we get a siege, see, uh, a ceasefire with the Adrissians? I think we need to try that. Quick. Ceasefire, and I'll give you map information. No, they still don't want... Apparently, we've got a good relationship with them, even though we've been at war for many, many years. But we will try something that'll get them to go. So, everything in the south has moved, apart from, of course, Antiochus, who is going all the way back to Sardis for retraining. Look at those paved roads. Allow you to move so far now, which is great. Um, so yeah, we're also getting the Cataphract army over here, and I don't know where we'll send that. I mean, against Armenia, against Atropatine, I'm not sure. We've also got this battle at Taxila, and we have these guys all coming down for retraining as well. So get them moving. We just got so many armies now, haven't we? We got so many armies doing so many different things. <laughs> I mean, it's probably worth getting rid of, like, all of those boys. Like, there's no need for them anymore. Even this, like, 11. Although, you guys can merge, so uh, let's merge you. 44 is fine, I'll take that. But the 8 De Hayan Cavalry... Oh, god damn it! I've just merged everyone else! No! Oh, no! Oh, all the, the good experience. It's all gone. No. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to start training again here. Why has Karakata got such rubbish training facilities? Oh, because it's only a minor city. Uh, oh, well. Do we have level 3? We've only got level 2 Greek colony, which I think is the highest level we can get right now. So we need to get it up to large city ASAP. Um... But yeah, and then lastly, but not leastly, let's get you boys moving down to take this Ptolemaic. And we'll probably sack it because they rebelled. What do we do with rebels, guys? We kill them all, of course. We kill them all. Uh, last couple of units. Retrain those. Let's get... These are, these are very experienced units. These guys have been on campaign since the start of the game, these units. So, fair play to them. They're doing a... Bang up job, I've got to say. Well done, boys. And then we'll go after some of these rebel settlements around here, which are all down the coast. A couple of these over here as well. Probably We'll probably go across to this side first because I know there's like a lot of cities uh, around this coast. I don't know where the other ones are. That's the problem. We might have to toggle fog of war or something at some point. Yeah, I don't think there's any more. I know there's like a few in here, though. There's not just... Like, there's that one there. There's a few more. There's a few different ones. So I think that's everyone moved. So let's just do our our building first, I guess. And then we'll do our battles. Only 86,000 for us to, to play with now, though. Which is just terrible, terrible, terrible turn of events. Antiochia, Migdonia. Let's go for the Odeon. Although you are very happy. But if you, got, if you die, my friend, you might not be so happy. Uh, Susa, I mean, again, there's not really anything here that's worthwhile building, so we'll skip that one for now. Ephesus, let's go with the academy while we've got a guy in there. Uh, Hecatompolos, let's go for the Odeon, just in case. You never know with these regions over here. Zadricata as well, let's get that building in. Alexandria Prophasia, let's go for that population growth. It's only got half a percent. Ladokia Lycos. Let's go with Inland Trade Center. Get some extra cash. Uh, Jerusalem got the Academy. Good. I like to see that. Let's then, therefore, go for the Odeon, just in case the, the guy dies. A Naza boss. Probably worth going for some of these uh, Greek colonies in here as well. Uh, a Rados, because a Rados isn't even Greek either. Like, only 5% Greek conversion here. Uh, so maybe go for that one. So we're at Aradar. Seleucia Peera. Let's go for the Agora. Coloni. Let's go for the Militia Barracks there. Uh, Nikophorion. Let's go for the Militia Barracks as well. Apamea Sitakane. Let's go for that Shrine to Hera. Uh, Artemita. 
right in the middle here. Well, I think it's probably worth going for the Temple of Taiki. Or we could go for the Scriptorian. So Scriptorian's quite cheap, so let's go for that. So Lukia Hadaiphon, let's go for the... I mean, the Dockyard. It, it could... Could it trade with there? I don't know. It's just probably not worth... If I click that in... Yeah, it doesn't say that it's giving anything. It still might. That's the thing. It still might. But you never know. You never really know. Uh, I've also been playing a little bit of the early release of uh, Total War Pharaoh, guys. Um, and uh, you can check that out, of course, on the channel. So do check that out if you are interested. Uh, where is the port for Hamosia? It's over there. And it's doing nothing. So let's get the, uh, the market. Kiropolis Caduceus. Yeah, so I've been playing it a little bit. And uh, I've got to say, I wouldn't recommend anyone pre-order it. I don't recommend pre-ordering games, guys. Obviously, I have to get early access. But I pre-ordered it so I can make videos for you guys. It's a very different situation. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend, if I was you guys, um, you know, waiting for reviews to come out from a trusted source that you trust, maybe a YouTuber... Maybe um, a trusted news source that you have, although in the gaming industry, a lot of the time, I would say that's quite hard to find. Um, but yeah, in terms of reviews especially, I'm not saying they're completely untrustworthy, but a lot of the time, the reviews, you'll see a review for like 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 for the new Call of Duty that is the same as every other single Call of Duty that's ever been released. So yeah, I, uh, yeah wait for reviews from a trusted source, but uh, if your trusted source is me... Like I say, don't pre-order it, but um, I will do a review, and I'll give you my thoughts now. And, and honestly, guys, you know me, guys. I went into it expecting to hate it. Really, really. Like, genuinely expecting, not just to dislike it, to, to hate it, to think it was terrible. And maybe because I've had such... This guy's 70, by the way. Nice. Um... Maybe because I had such low expectations, maybe my expectations have been, you know, uh, maybe I've maybe I, I'm seeing it in a better light because my expectations were so low. But I think it's it's decent, like it's decent from what I've played so far. Like I say, I've not played a huge amount of it. So, but what I've played so far, I can't really complain. There's a couple of things that I don't like, namely the engine, of course. But uh. Like, everything else is fine. It's it's not, you know, it's not revolutionary. It's not unbelievable. It's not amazing. But it's it's okay. Like, that's as good as I'm going to say. You know, it's not it's not bad. But it's not amazing. It, it's, it's perfectly compelling. It is very small. That's the one thing. It, it is tiny as a game. Um, so, yeah, that's slightly unfortunate, but... Not much uh, we can do about that. So uh, let's uh, let's go with this battle then. Andragoras the Cruel, who was once known as Andragoras the Handsome, of course. Oh, Andragoras the Cruel versus Xerxes the Cruel. And what does he have? Oh, goddamn skirmish, you cav. We all know I love those boys. Um, oh, and this army is just absolute crap. Some light spearmen and some archers. We could probably just run over those with our cavalry if we wanted to. This army is slightly better, but it, it's still not good. So let's go and try and take the city in one fell swoop. I will see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. Kind of dusky. Nice. Look at this. Very atmospheric. Uh, and, of course, the uh, settings have uh, not been saved once again. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. But this army, like, as confident as I am, is pretty darn damaged, isn't it? So this army, after this campaign, might need to go back for retraining like Antiochus is. Um, once we've taken this settlement, I mean. Maybe we'll stay here a couple of turns to make them happy. Or we'll probably leave our archers behind. And, uh, yeah. Go uh, go from there. I mean, our, our general's one of our largest units, and that's saying something <laughs> right now. And that's including the infantry. So, yeah, it's pretty darn damaged, isn't it? I mean, the ferryman will be busy, but where the hell are they? Oh, they're up here. So, let's go. Uh, let's run as well. No point going slowly. So, let's come up. 
Uh, and then we'll get all you boys behind. All of you boys should be on fire at will. You are fantastic. Archers, time to go as well. And cavalry, let's get over here. Don't know where the second part of the army is. Oh, they're actually over there. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll go and destroy the smaller army first. Um, they might withdraw, though. That's the only problem with this. Oh, we're getting ready to fire. We're already firing at them. Good. So let's get the men maybe slightly in an easier position for them. So I don't care about that secondary army. I don't think they're going to be too scary. Let's get the uh, army up here. And you boys. Get you forward as well. And uh, let's start moving, boys. Let's start going. And crushing the enemy. I am worried about that unit quite a bit. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know what they're doing, but... It's not amazing. Watch them run and watch them escape. Because <laughs> they're so much faster. They're so fast. They're almost as fast as the cavalry if they're properly running and don't stop. But if they run like that, that's what's going to happen to them. They're just going to get mowed down. Nice. And they do have their all their horse archers and stuff behind. So let's fire at those. Guys, all of you. Don't want you on fire at will. Fire at them. Okay. Killed all of those boys. Charge in the back. So we are, like, kind of surrounded right now, which is not good. But, like I said, I'm not too bothered about that cavalry in the back. They're not as scary on, on the charge, so it should be fine. Guys, have you still got your phalangites down? Phalanxes down? Yes, you have. Good. Make sure you stay in formation, boys. Like, the front line tends to like to just engage them rather than actually, fight, uh, actually fighting in phalanx formation, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. Right. Agira Speeders, my friends. Let's go. I have no idea what those uh, cavalry guys are doing. Wh wh where are you running to? Let's get here. And then the rest of you boys. Let's get you up here as well. Now let's go after them ones. We need to try and kill everyone, of course, so that we can take the city. So speed that up. Guys, go, 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 go before they get off the map. So we kill 85% of them. Good, we have. I don't know what their cavalry's doing, but whatever it is, it's going to be annoying, I can tell. So, you guys, let's get you here. Ready to fire at the cavalry. Should be able to fire now. Can you fire? Yeah, looks like they can. If they go for the charge, don't. I don't mind that. That's quite good. No, no, no. Fire, fire at these guys. Come on. Fire at these guys. And what are you? Yeah, they've already they've, they've taken so much damage. That's good for us. Go, go, go. Try and catch them. Don't think you'll be able to. They're killing these boys now. Good. Good, good, good. It's not doing that much damage. Have these guys got a lot of armor? Not really. Surprise, less of the, uh, like, not many of them are dying. Right, Agira Speeders and Chalka Speeders, let's go down the hill. And uh, we'll leave one Hypastis behind just in case of cavalry charges. I mean, if they're going to go for the charge, don't mind that. We'll try and squish them. There they are. They're just targeting one of the one of the poor units of uh, archers. But they're not doing much, are they? Fire at them now. Right, let's get back then. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about those cavalry units. And yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll take the charge and see what happens. Speed it up. Looks like they are just going to walk into the phalangites. Good. 
Come on, men. Because it's really not killing many, is it? This are these archers. They've got decent like experience and everything as well. They just uh, just don't really uh, do that much damage. But hopefully we can maybe route them before it even really matters. So let's get over here. Let's get in and. Uh, Let's get our Hypastis into the Caucasian Hillman. We're going to bring our cavalry round to go and try and deal with them. Look at them. They're just savaging our, one of our archer units each time. And this is the main the main thing we've got against... Uh, our main weapon against horse archers is always foot archers. But our foot archers, you know... I mean, is this... Come on. Stop running away. Stop running, you fools! Flee, you fools! Kill them. And like I say, I really want to make sure we take the city with this so we can send all of these units back for retrain. Hopefully not merge them all like I did with the <laughs> Karakata army. That was a big mistake. Oh, what's this? Oh, you guys, you guys go, go after them. That's fine. Kill them. How many? We've got 12 left. That's fine. Let's go back here then. Yeah, you're going to die, unfortunately. And uh, let's get behind. Come on, Cav. Let's go. Can we kill them all? Xerxes the Cruel versus Andragoras the Cruel. Let's speed it up. Looks like the Cataphracts did the job. Good. We've broken everyone now. So, I'm thinking, send you there, send uh, you there, and we will go after these uh, skirmishers. Right, boys, let's get back down here. Looks like they're going after the, cavalry, uh, the, the archers now, so let's kill them with our actual uh, infantry. Looks like they're going to go for the charge. Fine. Let us come over this way. Oh, we broke them pretty much instantly with that. Looks like they've broken. Good. Not too bothered about the rest of these boys. These cavalry boys. Don't think they'll be that scary. Uh, let's continue to make sure that we kill as many as possible. Go, go, go. Guys, you are so slow. Come on. They're going to escape before you even get close to them. Look at the cavalry. Look how slow they are. Come on, men. Literal slugs. Literal slugs. Is there anyone else? You boys, actually. Get some faster cavalry there. And uh, that's it. Speed it up. Oh, how did you miss them? You imbeciles. Well, we should have beat them anyway. Good victory. 876 we killed. Sister Foroy doing most of the heavy lifting this battle, but... Everyone else performed pretty well. Poor archers got absolutely savaged. But anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And we did take it. And Dragoras the Cruel. And again, this settlement seems a lot happier than some of the other ones that we have had before. Um, so, yeah. And, oh, unfortunately, they've also got a colony too. Anatolian here. Uh, which is not great. Now, this army definitely needs to go back for retraining. <laughs> Look at it. It's absolutely ruined. But I'm wondering whether we leave... If we leave Andragoras in there, we'll see what Captain Mithridates does first. But if we just leave Andragoras in there with some elephants, I'm sure that'll be enough to kill anything that's uh, that's really in our way. Now, building-wise in here, we did get a little bit of cash from that. Apparently, it does have a road, but the road only goes one way. It doesn't go this way, which... Ah, uh, that's a bit annoying, but... Oh, well. Now, let's see. We've got one more turn until that Odeon is done. We'll be able to move from there. So, we'll wait, as I say, one turn. But let's get the Shrine to Hera in here. 250% happiness. I'm guessing it just doesn't have much unrest right now. So, let's start moving some of these, uh, some of these garrison boyos forward. Because they don't need to be uh, back there. You know, the cities are happy. They might have... Periodical unrest from culture. But yeah, like even uh, even Kamisa, that was a bit of a problem, is fine now. So maybe we can even move three. Forward. And we're going to need good garrisons in all of these places because they're so far from anything. 
And like I said before, we do need to start building, thinking about building a recruitment hub over here. I've said that a few times and we, we kind of haven't really done that. But I kind of want it in this central region here that can kind of respond any direction to the Armenians um, and any rebellions that we might have up in this region. Um, so, like, this one, it's only a minor city, though. It might become a large city soon, though, because it's at 11,800. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's fine. Now, was there anything else? Apart from the Siege of Taxilla, which we, you know, we're not going to do right yet. Um, was there anything over on Greece? No, of course not. Uh, so let's do that Siege of Taxilla, then. Because the quicker we get Taxilla, the quicker we can actually, you know, let's auto-resolve it. Only 168. We don't need to play that battle. And sieges, like I say, are very, very long battles that there's not really any point in taking. So let's make sure that we can afford that for Antioch next turn. And let's get over to Taxilla. Let's see what's in the settlement already as a rebel settlement. Not that much, really. It has got the, the Ludus Magna, in fact, which is cool. I'm guessing that's right there from the start. Let's rebuild everything. And then secondly, I would love to be able to afford that. So, oh, not quite. Let's untick one of these. And it should be enough. So let's just go straight for the recruitment building. Because we want to recruit in there as, as early as possible, really. Uh, and we will probably leave behind, like, say, the Asian archers if we can. But it's very... I mean, 75% unrest right now. Uh, sorry, public order right now is, is not enough. These guys have all finished training. So let's leave Anak on Tistai behind. Again, this is an area that I would love to get some governors in because of how rich it is. But I guess we're going to have to wait for that one. Let's come around this way and then we can replace... The Greek hoplite garrisons in these cities with those boys. And then we can move them to the front line. And then we'll probably just go around and try and take loads of these little cities. You're going to go along the top, aren't you, to see what's up here. Backing up against, uh, you know, the Himalayas. Uh, and you, you're going just down the Indus River, really, just to see what's going on around this way. And there's a lot of settlements, as you can see. A lot and a lot of setup. I don't want to move you too far away from the army just in case the army needs some help at some point. So let's press the end turn. I'm just checking whether Armenia has an extra settlement around that way. I can't quite remember from the Toggle Fogger War. And we found another settlement. Good. So the Sarakis are there. But I really don't want to and can't really afford a big war with them just yet. Oh, we found Ptolemaic land. Glorious. Okay, the Antigonids have decided that they're going to take life into their own hands and go for attacking us straight away. That's fine. That's fine. That that makes things a lot simpler. We don't need to, to worry about annoying the Antigonids or doing anything like that anymore. We just need to go and kill them. Which should be fine. Um, that's a tiny army as well from the Antigonids. We've already fought them in the past, remember, for Kaunos. On the southern coast of Anatolia. We did have to uh, go and take that. So is it in here somewhere? I mean, it's a very mountainous land. There it is. That is the final Ptolemaic settlement. Ah, oh, here we are. Berenike Pankrysos. A large town in the middle of the desert. Obviously, apart from this one, which we are going to try and take now. Hopefully, we don't get attacked by that rebel. <laughs> that would be quite annoying. Um, and yeah, look, we only made 80,000. Well, uh, well, it's saying 80,000. We did get 150,000 at the start of this turn now, which is good. Antigonids and us, war, of course. They've literally got three men sieging that down. What a terrible, terrible, terrible uh, uh, idea. Let's also make sure that we build that building in Antioch, like we said before. This is going to cost us a lot of money. Uh, oh, yay! Finally, Antiochia Thymomenon is ready to upgrade. Very nice. We've also got Iasonion and we've got Antioch. So let's make sure we smash that in there. Uh, what did I want to do? Come and have a look over here. 
Achaeans have just like ran away. Again, we'll just auto resolve this. Shouldn't be too bad. 312. Not not too bad. And we take an Ellis. Very nice. And we can see the Aetolian League over there waiting to uh, to pounce, really. Uh, we have managed to make that semi-stable, which is good. So let's leave an archer behind. And then we'll come across and knock them away, hopefully. We could go and kill them. I mean, we could just go... I think we just go straight for Megalopolis. So they're back to being 70%. But you guys could actually get all the way to there. So let's go with that. In fact, we should probably swap you around. And go for maybe two garrison men in there. So let's go. Is it worth recruiting some garrison in uh, Lyconia? Or whatever it's called. Githion, should I say? It is probably, while we're not recruiting anyone else, is just getting a few of the garrisons queued in there so that we're no, we don't run out of garrison at any point. Because I want to keep the speed going quite quickly up here. So let's go for Megalopolis. Sparta still. We are just going to siege it down. Have they lost those... Uh... No, they've still got all those troops. They're just very heavily damaged now, I guess. Faction announced. Oh my god, look how many kids we've just had. Fantastic. We've got one called Pyrrhus as well. So that's probably from the new cities we've taken, combined with the fact that we haven't accepted uh, a guy, um, uh, any, any uh, what do you call it, adoptions for a while. Uh, I mean, there's nothing in Seleucia that's really worth building. I might as well build the elite tax. Like I say, if there's nothing worth building there, then we might go for that at some point. But uh, Arbella, let's go. Let's get the irrigation in there. Uruk. Uh, we don't need the law, really. I mean, I'd be surprised. No, we don't need the law. Let's go for the Odeon. Only 600 for the Odeon in Uruk as well. Glorious. Apamea Kibotos. Let's go for the Agora. Wait, what am I doing? Why are we doing the building? Let's not do the building just yet. Let's get you guys to Bergamon for your retraining. So you can get the gold. The goldy gold for the boys. And this is, of course, another army that's going to end up in Greece. Going after the Antigonids. Get to Sardis. And we need to retrain. And we also need new troops for this army. And maybe a new general as well. <laughs> so we need to be wary of that, of course. Oh, we got loads of cities expanded now after we uh, dispersed that population. Lots of towns growing. Wow. Kauris. And again, we are so far from building everywhere again now. It, it's kind of sad that we've dipped so far away from that. Um, so, yeah... Oh, we didn't... We didn't... Uh, we need to put all this to the front, basically, to make sure that it'll be uh, rebuilt. So, let's do that. And then these little armies go into Karakata. So, we'll go through all the armies. That's what I tend to like to do. Go through the armies first. Then go through the, uh, through the building. Then do any battles. So, in the north, we've got no battles to do. We've just got our armies to go into the nations to start retraining. And uh, unfortunately, we kind of got... Well, we didn't get screwed. We screwed ourselves with that by merging all of those men. Um, we've also got this little battle, but... I think it's worth just sieging that down. There's no rush over here, is there? And Zranka will be a very upset settlement. Now, is it worth, though... This is one thing. Is it worth recruiting an army over here? Or the resemblance of an army, at least, to go hunting in the east... And I think it is. So let's go for two more Neocretans. In fact, maybe four more Neocretans. Let's maybe not go for Chalcospedes here. I think we'll probably go for four of the Thorakitai. That'll be an army then of... So another eight. So another a 15 stack. And we might send one of the generals down. And the rest can just be mercenaries once again. Uh, I also need that archery range in here to retrain the archers. But oh well... Um, so yeah, in the north we've moved everyone. How about down here? You've moved uh, over this way. I believe 
yeah, we've moved pretty much everyone we can. So, Kamak. Kamak's very happy. And they've sent a single general, but like nothing else. So, what I'm thinking is, you guys, where's quicker? To go to Antioch? We have to go past that, that region. Or to Sardis. Sardis is actually a lot further away. In fact, we would prefer to go with the general as well because he makes the movement speed so much more. So what I might do is leave, if, if I uh, merge you into there, I might leave that 123 of hypastists behind with the elephants. And we'll leave and let's see. Yeah, they're still happy, so that's not a problem. And it's definitely quicker to go to Antioch this way, isn't it? So let's go to Antioch. Only three turns. In fact, on the way, we might as well take that other settlement. We might as well go for that while we're here. Uh, and then come back up this way and we'll go through the mountains. Now, over this way, anyone else that's worth getting? No, unfortunately not. Like I say, I don't want... I want that to be upgradable to a large city. So we can start upgrading, but unfortunately it's not going to be. Let's go for the four and then the sap point just in case. And I think we will get attacked there, so that's fine. There's the Sirakis. There's a road here, so let's have a look along it. Ah, there's a settlement. Cool. Doesn't have roads going... Uh, oh, it does have roads going out the other way. Good. So we found another settlement. I think those are the three up there. Now, there is one up here, definitely, because we saw it. But it's actually Rebel, so it's not really worth it. So we, we just want to come up to the Caucasus, and then we'll probably come down and deal with Atropatine, even though they've been a loyal ally for a long time. Uh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> so I believe we've moved everyone we kind of can. Those guys will all move by themselves. I don't need to do that myself. Antiochus, are you in Sardis yet? Yes, you are. Good. And then over here, I can say we are sieging down that and that. This is fine. This is good. Go for the Shrine to Hephaestus. Make them happy. Repair this. Get rid of the Achaean League recruitment. And uh, let's build maybe... Shrine to Hera for that lore. Good. Well, good. Now let's go through and do some construction. We've spent so much money already, so I don't think we're going <laughs> to... Uh, we're going to be able to build very much. Uh, Mr. Ragai. Europus Ragai. Let's go for the Shrine to Hero, of course. So much better. Get that extra lore. Zadra Carter. Let's go for the Odeon here, just in case. Goodbye. Goodbye is actually making a bit of cash. Fair play. Let's go for that irrigation. Stakra got the, that spice thing, so let's get the market, get that trade up as well. Alexandria Ariana over here, which is getting a bit of training. In fact, is a large city now. So we could, in fact, train proper troops here if we upgrade. So let's go straight. Although we do need Colony 4 Greek, which is 10 turns. Um, well, let's go for that anyway. And in, in, in the long term, it'll, it'll pay for itself. Uh, well, it won't pay for itself. It, it'll allow us to recruit properly there anyway in case we need to. Loranda, let's go for the Odeon as well. Uh, Market over here in Katayon. Kiros. Now we've got like sort of a lot of those law buildings that we wanted in now. Uh, I think it's quite good to get some extra proper income buildings going and population growth buildings as well. Uh, like Heropolis, let's go for that Agora. So we are spending more money on, on settlements now than we were previously. You know, we were trying to be nice and cheap. Now we are spending big bucks, but it will pay off in the long run, definitely. Let's go for the secret police HQ there. Nippur, got the scriptorium. Let's go for that trying to Taiki. Bertha, got the great Agora. Bertha shouldn't really go for ta Temple of Taiki as well. Acrobai up here. This one, probably that instead. Mytilene got the academy. Let's go. Uh, no, paved roads in Mytilene is pointless. Let's go for then the Temple of Hera. 
Antiochia Persis, which is actually very poor. Let's start getting some more trade buildings in there. Nikea, we can go for that inland trade center because that's an obscene bonus for both of those. Let's get that. Sidon got the Spice Road. So we've got a general there. Let's get the uh, get the academy. Uh, Mylissa. Let's go for the stables, for that law. Ptolemaeus Fenike. Let's go for that practice range as well, for that extra law. We've got that going into Gadara. And Patara. Let's go for the stables. Iope. Let's have a look. Probably the public baths for that bit of pop population growth. And then finally the market. And I believe that's everyone we needed to move, isn't it? Uh, well, we'll find out when we see when we press the end turn, I guess. I do want to get another battle in, so let's see what we want to do. We might want to go out from Taxilla as well and start attacking places. Um, and like I say, there, there's some big garrisons in there, so we I, ultimately, ideally, really need two armies. Um, in this region, and maybe a, a, another army coming from the east. Ah! Well, I said I wanted to do another battle, didn't I? And he's gone for the attack without the people in the settlement. Now, look at our army. Look how damaged it is. It is incredibly damaged. We've got half the amount of troops as them. But this isn't Diodotus. This is Alketas. What about cavalry-wise, though? If we've got cavalry superiority i'm willing to kind of try this battle but look at oh it's like 14 men <sighs> let's go for it guys let's go for it if we beat them then fair play to us if we lose we lose and they've got a lot of infantry a lot more infantry than us but <laughs> let's just try and uh, try and defend in the corner of the map and see what happens <laughs> Yes! We're buying a little temple, so probably is a reasonably good day and place to die, just in case. Little nice little uh, village huts over here. Nice. Um, but yeah, her army is, is absolutely, I've got to say, quite savaged, really. Um, so I'm hoping we can kind of bait them into attacking us right in the middle. Um, very thin line. The thin, uh, Seleucid line. And we'll get our archers. In fact, we'll probably put our archers in front for the time being. Oh, we've got this archer as well, so let's get him. There you are. And then cavalry. This is where we're going to have to win the battle with our cavalry, which is normally what we do anyway. Um, so yeah. And let's speed it up. Let's see how close they get to us. They do have... A lot more infantry than us. So it's all going to be about morale. We need to kill Perseus. And then, yeah, Greek hoplites. Mainly, it's mainly... Oh, they do have Royal Peltas, though. Ooh. They're a scary unit. Don't really want to fight them. I think we might just not have quite enough infantry for this. But I guess we'll find out. I mean, where's the edge of the map? I mean, they're, they're going to try and flank us on, the, on that side. Terrible idea. I don't know why they would do that. Let's use the... Uh, we'll probably use this little village, actually, as our flanking protection. So let's come back. And we'll keep a load of you on this side. The archers can still go in front. I mean, the archers, like, heavily in terms of the... Uh, the amount of archers, they heavily outweigh pretty much the number of infantry if you look at the lines. They might go and try and sneak around this way. And you can sneak through, but it's a little bit more difficult. So we've got Tarantine Cavalry and everything coming forward now. Hopefully we can start firing very soon. Don't want fire arrows, just normal arrows. Should kill, should kill a few, hopefully. Not as many as I was expecting. But anyway, that's fine. Everyone get behind. I'm sure I turned off... Yeah, we, we turned off it for three of them. This is where the hordes are coming now. Let's speed it up. So, yeah, they're, they're firing their javis, but whatever. So, ideally, I'd like you to shoot the Prodromoi. Like, they're the, they're the units that we don't want in the fight against us. 
because they're incredibly annoying to deal with, like we've said many times before. They are going for a little flanking maneuver with the hoplites, or they were at least. Speed it up slightly. Yeah, kill the Prodromoi. Looks like the Tarantine Cavalry are getting a bit frustrated. They are dying. They are dying, a lot of them. Good. Now our high pastists. Let's get here. Go and deal with them. Where is their general? That's the question. Because we can try go and try and snipe him. That would be obviously invaluable to us. So let's try and get here. Look at the men. They've got so many men. They re Look at them. Like They just so try and avoid the phalangites. Like, how much are they trying to avoid the phalangites now? They don't even need to avoid them. We've got so... Like, are they just going to come every single unit around this flank? Look at them trying to get through that little gap. Come on, AI. Don't be so dumb, man. Go, go, go. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Yes, touch them. That's it. That's it. They should turn now. And then let's go for the general. So what do they have at the back here? Just a Phoebe's? A Phoebe's are good, but not that good. Mainly, I just want to try and snipe that bad boy. So we can try and hold back the hordes of men that have decided that they should, like... Literally just go around the flank and, and no one go through the center. <laughs> so at least those boys are there. We've got you guys. Let's start coming forward. Where is he going? Because we need to go and, and catch him. Wherever he's going, let's go and get him. Looks like he's going to charge. Oh, they're getting shredded by the archers as well. All right, let's go. See if we can see if we can catch him unawares, maybe. Which I very much doubt we can. We can maybe try and surround him. It depends whether that Greek hoplite gets in the way or not. Which looks like they're not at the minute. Come on, guys. Run, for God's sake. Don't be such fools. Run. I mean, we've charged the back of the Royal Peltas, which is fine. But ideally, we just want to kill the general. So, kill the general. Kill the general. And he's running. He's running. Good, good, good. Kill those Greek hoplites. Fight them. That was not the best charge, was it? In fact, it was a terrible charge. Terrible, terrible charge. There's the general. Good, 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 good. Right then. In the back of these boys. No, 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 no. Let's 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 calm down a bit. Calm down slightly. Looks like we've uh, broken some of those boys. Where's our unit in here? I don't even see them. They're just fully surrounded, are they? Well, let's get back up this way and let's go. We'll go for a big charge on this block. If we can get a mass route here, we win the battle. But we need to get a mass route. So let's speed it up slightly. These guys are holding off that whole area over there. You turn around, turn around. Come on, Cav. I know you're getting a little bit tired, but it's going to be worth it. You're going to save the day, my friends. We shall honor you. Right, this is it. This is the charge. This is the one we want. Please all charge properly as well. Rally the men, Alketas. Rally the men. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Back into, into those. Into those guys in the side. Let's go. Keep going, men. Keep going. Yes. Mass route. Chain route. Let's go. Yes. Come on. That's what we like to see. Like I said, we don't need to fully destroy this unit. But uh, let's keep going. Let's go through him. So, Hypastis, you've done a fantastic job there with the few resources that you have. When I say resources, I mean men, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's go and have a go. Let's go and have a go at this unit. Let's see what we can do. That was... Why did you stop? <laughs> why did you stop? That was not a charge. Come on, men. Don't be silly. 
There we are. Broken both of those. Good. Let's get out. Ooh, this is a tight one. Really tight one. Let's go fight them. Now we've just got those two, like, big units to deal with now. I want to get ring my archers forward. What have we got over here? We've got you, boys. I want you to, like, get over that way. If you can. Oh, we've got these guys as well. These mercenary hoplites. Um, and then we've got all the hypastists over here. I think you should go and deal with them. Uh, we'll come and deal with the Phoebes and stuff before we get too tired to do so. Because they are very annoying. Right, archers. Let's fire. You guys just get out. I was hoping you guys would fire on these boys. And uh, let's get you guys in behind. And in fact, let's get our archers over here probably would be the option. What are you? Theroporoi. Let's get rid of them. Or Thurio Foroi, should I say? <laughs> nice, boys. How many have we killed then? 35. So there's actually not that many before we uh, will fully win this battle. Get those Ephebes. You guys just halt. You're not going to be able to catch them. Start shooting. Let's get in. And you guys can fire at whoever you want to fire at. See, they're all coming back, which is quite annoying. Well, let's go. And now let's kill as many as they can so they will never come back. Kill them, then. Oh, come on, Cav. You're so slow. Come on, man. Look at them. They can't even catch them up. Like, what's the point of having a horse if you can't fucking catch someone running? Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking useless. Honestly. Piss me off. Like, I don't know whether they're going to change that in North Point. I know it makes sense, like... But... Your Cav should still be able to catch these guys. Although they are only warmed up, I guess. Whereas the Cav's exhausted. But I feel like they should still be able to catch them. They're literally... Men running versus men on horses. Okay, now we've destroyed one unit. Let's get the hoplites. How are we doing against these boys? We're winning. Good. And where's the cav now? Where is the cav? They're there. Right, archers. I mean, it's your job, archers, now to come and deal with these fucking idiots who keep coming back. Right, men. Let's go. Uh, come on, Hypastists. You can beat them. You can beat them. Come on, men. Come on, men. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, archers. Like, it's your job. Kill the slingers. Kill them all. What are you? The Phoebes, they're going for the charge. Okay, how many did we kill, then? I mean, we might as well try and get our men to charge some people down, but they are just so slow that they're, they're going to be useless. I mean, it's better to get the archers, honestly, than the, the cavalry at this point. Uh, although I have been told that before. Use the archers to chase people down. I mean, could you reach them, really? Probably not. But it's worth trying. I mean, the cavs going marginally faster than the archers right now. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> but yeah, we'll chase them off the battlefield. Chase them off. But a, quite a glorious battle to come through. I mean, these units definitely need some retraining now, don't they? Go there, get them, but they'll be off the map. What a glorious victory once again. And the Antigonids have learned the might of the Seleucids. Uh, they did, uh, yeah, they've got 10% remaining, so we should have fully destroyed that army. Well done, my friends. And look at these high pastists. Like, I know it doesn't seem a lot getting 48, but they have 23 soldiers. So <laughs> these high pastists did a fantastic job. Same with the Agira Speeders, to be fair. 98 kills. They, they lost 60 men as well. And the archers doing decently as well. Well done, archers. Look, 160. They're the MVP. Well, well played, archers. Well played. Anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Victory! Victory. And are they going to come back for some more? No. 
Are we going to be able to take that settlement now, though? I doubt it. We might need to go for a little bit of a trip back to Githion for retraining. Looks like the Achaean League might want to be uh, cease firing or bribing. Uh, fair enough. Uh, the map does look lovely at night as well. I do love the look of it at night. But yeah, looks good. Fantastic. Well, it looks like... Okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> that was so pointless. Thank you, AI. Thank you, Rebels. I don't know why you've done that. We'll think of a way around that at some point. Uh, but yeah, that's quite annoying. <laughs> um, Hello. Looks like we might lose one of the high pastists. But you never know. The AI can be quite dumb. So I'm kind of willing to risk the elephant. And if it gets killed while we're getting retraining on these boys, we will just train another elephant in Antioch. It's fine. It's not a problem, is it? It should be good. So, yeah. But glorious victory then, anyway. So, now let's see. Can we leave with Selefkos? Let's have a look. Not, not naturally. <laughs> So, we're going to have to go daily games and we still cannot leave, like, right, like, without getting another building. <laughs> oh, God. But anyway, let's go for uh, Karkathiokerta. Been there. I think this region might be quite a wealthy one because it borders Edessa and Edessa is absolutely bringing in the cash right now. It also looks quite flat. Got a lot of, probably got some resources, some nice tradable resources like wine. And uh, copper, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. We are just going to skip past this one because I don't think we'd have enough to take on those boys in there. So, yeah, we are going to go straight back for Antioch for retraining. Uh, Antiochus, did you manage to get everyone retrained? Not quite. So, let's get you all. And we did get that extra Hetairoi. We are going to send you across to Pergamon. If you'll get in, you will. Um, so literally only one more turn and we will be ready with one more army. So while we're here, Antiochus' army needs four units. So what I'm thinking is probably, uh, we've got a lot of infantry. So probably one elephant, probably, uh, let's have a look, probably an archer, an actual good archer. Uh, and probably over here, we'll go... Yeah, it's got infantry, Chalka Speeders. These guys have been on campaign for a very long time as well. Let's go. We've got the Zista Foroi. We've got two archers. We're getting an elephant. So that's two units. And then we might even send uh, Antiochus' army back to Sardis. Oh, we'll take another general, in fact. So what we'll do is we'll get a chariot and then the the other the other space will be filled with another general we'll have to uh, find from somewhere. I'm sure we've got a young person around here somewhere. I mean, they're all relatively old. So, yeah, I would prefer someone a bit younger. Hopefully we can get someone that comes of age in this region at some point. They're all old people. No. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, it's it's fine. And look at poor Sparta. One more turn to go and we will destroy them. I mean, there's only four units in there, so I don't think that'll be too problematic. We might go for that siege to start with next time. Um, and up here, what are we doing in Taxila? So again, we're still just building away. Can we leave now if we leave like some of the archers behind? Like maybe two units of the archers? No, we cannot at all. Wow, and some of the garrisons around here are huge, so we do need to make sure that we are taking things sensibly. You guys are going to move again next turn. Good. Uh, we should have reasonable amount of people in Karakata now as well, so once you're in, we'll cobble together a bit of an army again. So, yeah, cobble together some of these boys. Uh, yeah, that's good. So this army is not amazing. We're probably gonna, we'll probably take these two extra Thuriophoroi. Where are we gonna go with them though? 
we were thinking about going up here, but like I say, it's pretty much pointless. But at least we do know where these settlements are now. Uh, well, some of them at least. So we will probably go to India with that army uh, and start taking some of the settlements. Won't take too long from there to get to India, so we'll go that way. And then down in Zranka, like I say, we're recruiting another army, aren't we? Which should be fully together soon. And then we'll get hopefully a general in there. This guy, Perseus, might be the option. He's only 32, so he's not too old, so that's fine. We've got a worthy live ends. Aesis the philosopher. No, not Aesis. Not Aesis, my friends. No, 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 no. Let's get the Shrine to Hera in there. Uh, Alketas has come of age, a new Alketas. So we did get a couple of people come of age. Let's have a look at his stats. Restrained. Uh, he is sharp and he is a hard worker. He, he will actually be better as a governor. And I think we send him up to like... Kamana Park. Has Mazaka got a governor, by the way? Mazaka does have a governor. Good. Um, but let's just uh, be wary of that for one second because... If the other guy coming of age, Antidoros, yeah, Antidoros is, is... Abderos is 84. What a man. What a man. What a glorious, glorious man. Fantastic. 84-year-old Abderos. What a glorious, glorious leader. I've not seen a guy get that old before, I'm not going to lie. But fair play. Uh... So anywhere up here that's making a lot of money that needs a governor. Like, do we need two in here as well? Oh, you are 62. You just look a lot younger. Well, let's get you down to Syrinx Trambrax because that, of course, lost its governor. And for all the boys, for all the boys, let's get a watchtower in there. We can see a bit more. <laughs> nice. Uh, so then Alketas, I guess Alketas, although you might be a very good governor, you are going to join Antiochus in his quest as sort of a learning, as a learning role and try and learn as much as you can from Mr. Angry. <laughs> and again, we got so many kids born. So yeah, with all these settlements, we should have in about 15 years, a load of kids all come of age, which is fantastic. So Sardis, like, yeah, we got that. Antioch, uh, Antioch, we are still building that cataphract army. Alexandria Prosphasia, yeah, you are building good. Pergamon, of course, as well. Caracata, Githion, yeah, getting Akontistai. Sardis. Oh, yeah, that's all retraining. That's fine. Right then, let's, uh, let's do our... Well, let's move everyone first. So you are there, ready to do that battle. Should we auto-resolve that? Probably. Close victory, apparently, but oh well. No point doing that battle, because we just, you know, lose. Uh, we just lose a load of time for doing nothing, really. Let's get those slingers, then, while we are here. Armavir. Aisis the handsome. You've moved... We've moved you boys, you guys. Let's come up probably through this way. Uh, and then, yeah, you're going down to Antioch. You've moved. So there isn't anyone else to move down here. That's fine. We do have, of course. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what, guys. My <laughs> I may have forgotten about Ermias <laughs> for a couple of episodes. <laughs> so Ermias, start of next episode, will go after that army. And it is darn good. The Ambacti are particularly scary. But I don't think they will have seen elephants before, so... And once we've done that, I... You know, we're having uh, two armies get retrained. We're having Andragoras retrained and Antiochus. And I'm thinking Antiochus' army will come back up into the north and east. But we could use Ermias. Uh, just go send him back to Pergamon for retraining and send him across to Greece as well. So we've got, you know, full invasion force on Greece of a lot of armies because we will face a lot of armies. Um, so I think that's everyone moved that we need to apart from you. Um, 
And let, yeah, let's finish on the building, a little bit of building, guys. But if you uh, if you don't want to watch that and you have enjoyed the episode, please do give it a like and a, a subscribe. It really, really does help the channel out. So thank you to all of you that continue to enjoy these episodes and like them, etc. Um, I do really appreciate it. I appreciate all your comments as well. So thank you. Keep those coming in. We've got Iconion with the public baths over here. Uh, Alusa, let's go for that Militia Barracks. Alexandria Carmania, let's go for the Agora. Agora, again. Uh, Raithu, let's go for a bit of population growth because it's already a large city, which is quite nice. Same thing over, actually, no. Let's go for the uh, that Law from the Archery Range. Ladokia, Katakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Let's have a look. Royal Peltas as well. I mean, are we going to be able to push our way through that much infantry? Probably not. So we'd either have to wait six turns. Ah, we can't go in there now that we've done that as well. Ah, oh, goddamn. That's a bit annoying, but we'll probably leave next turn for retraining. Well then, guys, I think that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.